So, I come out to feed, and I wasn't really sure about this girl because she wasn't developing any kind of an udder, didn't really see any any belly movement moving or anything like that. She's moving on the heavier side, so sometimes you just gotta wait these things out and I come out here and another female on the other side that is pregnant is trying to mount her and I'm like oh no she's definitely coming to a heat cycle so he's been on her a couple of times already and yeah. I'll be marking my day from today so this can happen and maybe she did catch earlier on I've had her in here for a while Pretty much all summer i think since like july so <clears throat> she's flagging mm, that's called flagging they flag the male to let them know they're in standing heat and she is oh she, i'm not sure about that one i'm just gonna leave her in there for a little bit longer she is in standing heat she stood for him and i'm not sure if she maybe did catch earlier on maybe reabsorbed fetuses and just didn't have another heat cycle <clears throat> right away but she's definitely stood for this boy and I will be keeping an eye on her for the next couple of months and kind of seeing how she feels and what she looks like. <clears throat> this is not the first time that Lucy has shown signs of being in heat with another doe. So you know, I'm not really surprised she didn't catch, but she definitely doesn't look pregnant and there's no signs of pregnancy you sniffer <laughs> so <clears throat> she's definitely stood for him today i'll leave her in here this month and probably through this time next month and see if she comes back into a heat cycle if she doesn't then we know she caught and hopefully everything goes well Lucy, you gotta be a stinker. That means we're gonna have April babies with her. Ooh, she's just got a good belly on her because she's been eating well. <clears throat> and it's hard to tell on these guys because their bellies are already firm, so that's not really a complete telltale sign on most of my goats it is. But not on these two Nubians, they're a little bit different. Ma, uh, daughter is definitely pregnant because she's developing in a little bit of an udder. So, mom and daughter won't be having babies together this year. <clears throat> oh, well, you're just going to be a late bloomer, huh? That means we'll have babies to sell later on in the year. More towards uh, October-ish. Depends on how fast her babies grow. Uh, he it was mm -hmm. definitely as soon as I put her in there, he was all over her. He's still interested in doing his thing. So <laughs> five months from today, <laughs> he sounds so weird when they want to breed. Hey, Siggers, <clears throat> you gonna be mean to the other doe now, huh? I'm, just not sure about her. I'm going to give her a little bit more time before I pull her out. <clears throat> Can't really tell with this Toggenberg. She hasn't... I don't know. She's just another tough one to tell. There's always somebody that's hard to see whether they caught or not. But oh, i got to do something with that um, <clears throat> tin. Because all they're doing is using that for a scratching area. So I've got to redo something on that, I guess. <clears throat> He wants to breed, but he wants to eat. He can't make up his mind. He'll breed and eat. <laughs> Hi, Siggers. <clears throat> Hi, Siggy. go ahead and pull her out. I'm pretty sure he's done this job with her, but I'll see. <clears throat> Put this cage away. I'm colder out. I need to start getting things done. Our shelter, barn, 
kidding, transitional barn still going up. And that was the big white Nubian boar cross is the one I saw mounting Lucy. So, and this girl definitely, that's daughter is developing her udder and it definitely, those are good signs to look for. And she usually develops it pretty, pretty early on. She's definitely got kids in there. 100% certain everybody else in this pen. I think the other does are on the other side. I do have kids in their bellies. So everybody's kind of got a little bit of an udder. And the babies are growing good. Little dowlings are growing really, really well. They're really, really fat. They like to eat. That one right there looks like Curry, her mom. And the other one, the fuzzy wuzzy over there. Mango looks like her dad, Mongo. And Elsa just looks like her mom. <laughs> Hi, Mia. Mia was um, one of Sig's babies, the one over here that's breeding with Lucy. And she'll, oops, there you are. She'll probably stay, I don't know, she's still growing a little bit, but she'll probably stay a smaller goat because we took her, they had an extra goat, didn't want her, and we took her and went ahead and bred her, and she put out a pretty nice baby last year. So, but she's still growing a little bit. She's a nice, solid solid little doe. <clears throat> Hi Chloe. Keeping an eye on Chloe there. She's got a little bag. She's got, whenever she gets within about a month of delivery, she starts having the stringy poop and a little discharge. So I'm going to keep an eye on her. She's the dark headed doe over there on the other side. Rose, are you good babies? <laughs> they just think everybody else's hay is better than what they've got. I don't know why. No matter how much you put the feed in the feeders, they still put it on the ground. We've got these guys blocked off right here because we're working on that side. Hi, Elsa. Hi, Mango. Mango, Mango. Big old fluffy goat. <laughs> Can't wait till I'm able to breed those two and see what they... They put out for us. They'll get bread next year. Hi, Mia. Just go back. They're so funny. They go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. <clears throat> okay, that's about it for today. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay safe.